Welcome back to Middle-earth and another episode of our fourth age Total War Dwarves campaign and here we are assaulting uh, Grimhold the last large Bjorning settlement left on this side of the Anduin and on this side of Mirkwood uh, I have not built any siege equipment because I don't need it because I brought my siege equipment with me I brought these Dwarven siege ballistas and so we are assaulting the stack that is inside that consists of our warriors will take their reward in blood and treasure. The enemy king, right here, as well as another family member. I can't remember if this is the heir or just somebody else, but wouldn't it be nice to lob something over there and, and kill them both? But so what we're going to do is we're going to take out these walls, uh, take out some of the towers, and then rush in. So I expect this to work fairly well. Now there is a reinforcing army streaming in from the forest. Oh, to the north, I guess, or to the... I think they were more to the east or northeast on the campaign map. But that was the remnants of the army that we attacked in the last episode. And some of them reformed outside the, the settlement. Are down. Our warriors will take their reward in blood and treasure. Some of them ran into the settlement itself. And so uh, that's who's here. I'll speed up the action while we just batter down the towers and see if we can hit the, the gates to destroy the towers here. I don't think we're going to get the gate open. Oh, we did. Fantastic. All right, and one more thing I'd like to do is, uh, is get that tower because that's going to be the one. All right. Your warriors have <laughs> broken through the walls. No did that do it? Show no mercy. Yeah, let's just, we'll try to hit the tower. There, the tower is destroyed. And let's break this wall too, why not? And then we'll switch over and try uh, bombarding these defenders. I would love to hit a good chunk of those Bjorning war dogs. And Your just take them out. The now attack. Show no mercy. So there's some cav here, there's some spears. We do sometimes have trouble hitting units when they're inside a city like this. It's just a uh, too many other th obstacles to run into. But we're gonna we're gonna kind of trash this place. That was pretty good. All right, so now they're gonna be behind the wall. Um, let's see. Let's hit these woodman bows if we can. The angle might be bad. Nope, we got them. All right, you know what? Hold on. Uh, yeah, let's go back here the, at the War Dogs. We've got one or two more lobs left. And then we'll get everybody headed in. Alright, now there's not much that I'm worried about in here. There are the two family members, but I think they're up on the uh, the upper terrace there. So we'll send in the family members on that side. We've got uh, let's see, some axe throwers, some war hammers. And then we've got these other mercenaries that we may as well throw in as well. These guys are taking the charge. <clears throat> These mercenaries are so replaceable. And uh, even retrainable in this uh, part of the world if I get him back up to Old Ford. I can run the hirelings in there. So we are getting shot by some woodman bows. Um, 
That's fine. Okay, we already took them out. Let's now... Take out some of these guys on the walls. And then we'll move more up into the settlement. Is still an active tower there. <clears throat> Our warriors have driven the enemy from his own walls. The way to victory is open. Spears. I mean, I could just ignore them and head up to the city. So the main square is fairly empty. Just some cav and it looks like a small unit of warhounds. The bulk of the resistance is going to come right around here. We've got those two family members all bunched up. Alright, we got all these towers. little wary about moving uh, moving too far away from the calves or the uh, melee support but that's what we got the hirelings for these guys have this tower already all right and these guys are gonna come down How about this? You can go and capture these towers and we'll send some of you guys from this side. And this should be going fairly well. Yeah, axe throwers versus their spears. All these guys are on skirmish, so in theory they can get away. Blunderbusses are going to offer some fear effect as well as just shooting at them, although I do expect some friendly fire here. Let's take them off skirmish. There we got that tower. And then let's run you guys all the way over here. Grab that gate as well. Axemen already wavering. And routed. Very good. So these guys are now utterly tired. These guys may be tired as well from having sort of running back and forth. Okay, we now have that gateway, which means we can walk all the way around here without any problems. 
As soon as these guys break, we'll take these forces down, although the woodmen I should actually hold up here. And just bring the axe throwers. Yeah, so these are very tired. Some of these may be the reinforcement army that came from the woods, so they have run all the way over here. But they're also running back and forth. The AI does not know how to manage its stamina. Um, so you can usually use that to your advantage. charge from the general. Should be enough to take them out. Alright, these hireling spears are probably not going to get that much fatigue back. Yeah, the best they may get to is uh, very tired. Okay. I may risk getting the generals up there. And look at the hirelings also. Stop that cav. But we're going to be under fire, and these Bjornings uh, are going to hit us also. Right, so we got some of these family members who are having a hard time getting off the wall. So here come the war dogs. Let's see what happens. And here comes some cav. So far we haven't taken any losses, but now we get the cav waiting in and they are a dangerous unit, and here come the bodyguard. Alright, let's focus fire on the Bjorn and Guard. Still doing fairly well. Taking our first losses now. Some of this may be friendly fire. Oh, looks like we are being shot at over here. Guard are a big problem. Alright, so let's now, now that we're in a good position, I think we can target them with the blunderbusses. We lost a lot of guys, though. Look at that.
Jeez, 37 left. 30 left. Oh, this is not good. The enemy warlord flees from out. All right, we got him. One of the generals. Um, that was the reinforcing army, and another one. Or another family member, anyway. Losing slightly evenly matched. 17, 16, 15. Alright, that's good. These guys are routing as soon as they're getting into the fight. I think we gotta we gotta run in now just because friendly fire. Those guys would get off the wall. That would be fantastic. Tell you what, let's just reposition. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get out of this. Although there are a lot of Bjorning Guard in this other unit. So let's focus the fire on them. Come on, get out of melee. There's only one left. Oh, we're being fired on two. Right, let's get a volley into that Bjorning Guard unit. Okay, we gotta hit these archers. Heroic death. Yep. <clears throat> Keely. Enemy king now oh, thank his God. Okay. Ancestors. His men now rightly fear us. Jeez. That was too close. So what do they get left up here? Good amount of cav, some dogs, some axes. This is not so bad. And you guys are just you're just stuck. Well, we got a bunch of Warhammers here. I think that'll be okay. All right, good. Push up here. that wall. Okay, so they're going to do this thing of uh, running out to me and then running back. Get the calf to come out, the big unit of calf. Um, that'll be nice. They'll charge into us. But we get enough numbers here that I think we'll be fine. Yeah, this is going to be absolutely uh, brutal in terms of losses. Need to get them all to route. Okay, released the hounds. Right down to the wire in terms of time, also. Let's get the, uh... right, 
Okay. The enemy army runs. Now hunt them down. Yep, there we go. We only have 400 left. Okay, but a clear victory at least. That could have gone better. But sometimes that happens with sieges. You get units stuck. Pathfinding screws up. Alright, we did have a heroic death. Yeah, let's just occupy here. And Kelia Forodrain. And we don't have that many men here. And the problem is... So now we share a border with, uh, with Adunabar. Let's go ahead and build that up. Uh, and let's destroy what we need destroyed. And that's actually all of it. Everything else is going to be good. Lower the taxes. And uh, I'm convinced we can hold this. We've got three family members here and two here. As well as a few other scattered bits of dwarven uh, troops lying around. So, I think... That will be an episode. That was a much longer siege than I anticipated. I thought it was just going to be a barge in and, and take the place over, but no, they put up a, a better fight than I thought. So don't underestimate those Bjornings. Um, thank you very much for watching, and in the next episode, we may be wrapping up the campaign. We're only one province away from victory. So we shall see, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll check you out in the next one. Bye-bye.